G'day all, out in South Australia's Mallee country, one cold and as you can see by the footage, windy night. Traversing our beautiful countryside, doing what I love most, in this case, searching for our nocturnal bird species. When I came across this tawny frog mouth, perched high in the tree canopy, trying to look inconspicuous, not noticing at first, but after reviewing my footage, I noticed an anomaly with one of its eyes. This tawny frog mouth is living with a defect of the eye, a coloboma, and at this point, I will add a disclaimer that I'm not a doctor, veterinarian, or any other medical practitioner, so consult with a medical expert for any further advice. I'm just a guy who loves getting out bush and enjoying our wild native flora and fauna in this spectacular country we call home. Clearly visible, this frog mouth is living with a defect of the eye, a coloboma, an iris coloboma to be specific, a defect which would have occurred while developing in the egg. While the pupil and iris are affected on this occasion, colobomas can affect other parts of the eye, including the lens, choroid, retina, and optic nerve. Unless other parts of the eye are affected by a coloboma, visual activity is not usually impacted. However, iris colobomas can cause photophobia, which means sensitive to light. Colobomas are permanent and non-progressive, not getting worse with age. In the normal eye, the pupil is round. However, with iris colobomas, the pupil is misshaped, often elongated, pushing out into the iris, referred to as a keyhole shape. For comparison, we have the tawny frog mouth with the coloboma of the iris on the left, showing the defect of the iris compared to the tawny frog mouth on the right with a normal round pupil. Now a closer look at the iris and the pupil in a fully formed eye, both round and in the correct shape and free of defects. Given the age and size of this tawny frog mouth, I would suggest the eye condition had little impact on the bird's ability to hunt and catch its food, feeding mainly on insects and moths, and flew off into the night without issue. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and found the tawny frog mouth with an iris coloboma as interesting as I did. Thanks for watching.